Russia's war in Ukraine has left many European countries worried. Some fear Moscow will expand westwards. So as an added protection, Sweden and Finland decided to join NATO. For that to happen, all NATO members have to agree. But its second largest military contributor, Turkey, has reservations. It wants both countries to prevent terrorist organizations like the PKK and FETO from using their countries for their activities. PKK supporters in particular have been freely operating in several Western countries, including Sweden. Ankara says the PKK, listed as a terror group by the European Union, has been recruiting and fundraising in Europe. In June, Sweden and Finland signed an agreement with Turkey, offering assurances of cooperation against terrorism. It is not possible to say that these two countries have been fully complying with the requirements of this memorandum yet. On the other hand, we need to show the parliament, as this matter is beyond politics, and our people that these two countries are taking concrete steps. Therefore, this timetable depends on these two countries and the steps they will take. The new Swedish Prime Minister says Stockholm is trying to address Ankara's concerns. We are really committed to, to fulfill our obligations according to that agreement. And, uh, and that will, we do it firmly and we do it, um, uh, we do it as, uh, as rapidly as is possible. And that we, we recognize, of course, that uh, Turkey uh, has a, they are very keen on Swedish uh, um, leverage on that agreement. And that is perfectly le legitimate. And that will be discussed when, when I, when I uh, visit Ankara. Another issue on the agenda during this visit will be Turkey's defense sector. Ankara wants Sweden to remove all restrictions on high-tech Turkish defense products, especially drones. Turkish officials say Turkey's role is pivotal for the security of the NATO military alliance. They say Ankara's expectations and demands are reasonable and if fulfilled, the Swedish Prime Minister's visit to Ankara could be a historic opportunity for his country's NATO membership. Hassan Abdullah, TRT World, Ankara.